Hey, this is Firestarter, and I'm back, and I'm doing a new Let's Play video series of Factorio. I have not given up uh, playing Distant Worlds. In fact, that's my favorite game. I'm just really waiting on the standalone expansion to come out. However, if you want to see those videos, I'll be more than happy to uh, uh, do those. Now, when it comes to this game, I really don't have that much experience in it. I've played a couple games. Um, probably about an hour in, so I feel pretty comfortable. The one thing I did notice though is that, uh, yeah, I thought so, enemy bases here didn't seem that significant to me, so I'm actually, yeah, I'm just gonna pump it up to max. Very big. Richness as well. Very good. I'll just throw that to the max and see if I can uh, survive that. Again, I'm new to the game so I'm probably going to be very inefficient oh my I'm stuck in the trees all right so what do we have to work with here well, there's some iron copper stone oh look at that enemies right here check out the big map. Actually everything I need is going to be right over here but in the forest. Okay so what I'll do initially is I'll drop my first burner miner right on top of this node and let's see here. Give it a chest and some fuel. I'm gonna mine up uh, 20 to 25 stone. That should get me going with everything I need early I think while that happens I'm just going to um, take these trees down clear some room and I also need the fuel and it's not like oh wow you see that radar okay now I'm pretty concerned I have no confidence that I'm going to beat this at all check that out Okay, well, this definitely uh, presents a challenge. Maybe I was too optimistic with the uh, base sizes. We'll see what happens. Should have at least 20 by now. Yeah, 21. I'm going to let that go to 25 and, and then pick it up. Let's start making some iron plates. Actually, you know what? It's one thing I've not tried before. Will these just connect? Actually, it looks like they do. That is pretty awesome. So I'm gonna let that go until I get a, a few iron plates going, I'm probably going to drop another drill and furnace over here so we can get double our output there. And I'm thinking about rushing out electricity. Um, yeah, it's only copper. And I say that, I'm looking to the north on our radar here. And yeah, that's pretty scary. Drop the other one here right now. So I'm I'm mulling over what I'm going to research first here. My last couple games I went with uh, logistics first, just because of the the splitter here. But now I'm actually thinking of turrets, because you look at my radar right now, I just placed this other burner, and this pollution is spreading quick. I'm 
not a good situation to be in. I think I'm going to rush turrets as well. Hmm. Where's that source of stone at? Right here. that much stone right now. Although, considering the large base right there, I might need as much stone as I can get to get some walls going. And yeah. Okay, after this tree, pick up these uh, plates here, place our burner drill on the copper, and hopefully not get attacked. I wonder if these will place automatically. No, I'll, I know I need to certus for that. Okay. Just trying to think of any other things that I didn't learn from my first two playthroughs of this game. And I really shouldn't call it a playthrough about an hour, an hour and a half total play in this game so far, so yeah. Let's grab whatever copper. Okay. These need copper and iron plates. I'm not ready for research yet. So what am I going to do in the meantime? Well, I can clear out this forest. I believe my coal is... yeah. I wish I could just close that map with the escape key. That would be awesome. Okay, all our coal's right there. How well would I do this? I might as well craft the science packs. Cool. Alright, so this coal is just south. Just trying to clear out the most logical path, really. I just place the drill now so I have a stockpile of coal to mess with while I dig out this path. That sounds more reasonable. for the research lab. I need more copper. That's fine. I'm actually going to craft uh, more beakers, then pick up more resources, and then I should have enough for the uh, oh crap. Then I'll have more than enough for the lab, I think. Yeah. I'm wasting my time with this because I don't have electricity. Alright, let's get electricity going, then I have what I need. I need a drill. Start with two steam engines, five boilers, I guess, and might as well use electricity, so we'll have a electric mining drill. Now, since our coal's down here, I might put my electrical stuff <laughs> right in this forest here. Let's see how that works out. This is almost too much of a pain in the butt to do, right now anyway, just with this forest. I, I can't go north, but if I can just move everything south. I'm going to see if uh, 
There's an open area here. Maybe more resources. I think there might be iron. Oh, man. Yeah, I think I'm stuck here. There's no way around that. We're out of fuel up here, but I take care of that now. Actually, I should probably just put full stacks. Yeah, look at that pollution on the map. I anticipate be, uh, getting attacked here pretty soon, so... If I put my uh, steam engines over here, I'll be attacked right away, no doubt. Although, putting them right here is not that big of a difference, but I'm gonna go with it. Hmm. I'm gonna make these pipe to ground because every time I've made an electrical system, it's kind of a pain in the butt because I can't move through it. I want to be able to move through my base. So I'm going to see how this pipe to ground stuff works out for me. Okay, so... I uh, should go like... Okay, simple enough. I have these boilers. Might as well place all five, I guess. And then make room for my steam engines and I should be good to go. With electricity. And yeah, these steam engines take a lot of room. And I'm not exactly making it a uh, compact design either. I don't know, maybe I do something like that. They have to be connected. Do something like that. I think that's all I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna put a little something in here to. fire it up for now, I guess. There we go. There we go. Cool. I can go ahead and create this uh, science lab now. Five more beakers. Mm, no fuel. So yeah, this is kind of tedious in the beginning of the game. But um, I actually enjoy the beginning part of the game. I don't know. I don't know why. Cool. We got a research lab place it anywhere really and hmm. I'm gonna go with turrets first just I mean looking at the map here I don't see why I shouldn't go with go with that route and that takes what 10 beakers so after that I might go after armor crafting which is another 10 no doubt go after logistics and automation that's another 20 and 10 so I'm doing what and I need 10, 30, 40 more beakers. And after that, everything should get automated. Things don't always happen that way, though. You know what? Oh, I was looking at this thinking I had 38 beakers on me. I was about to get excited there. 
think I might need only 20 more. Alright, while well, that's going, I do have an uh, electric drill, so... I think temporarily I'm just gonna stick it there for now mining speed 0.5 compared to 0.35 so that'll help me out a little bit I think I need anything else. Just tons of beakers. Which take forever to build, by the way. Awesome turrets. Let's go ahead and get armor crafting going. And... Stuck on the tree. Can't wait to get this all cleared out. Turrets. I need iron gear gear wheels. Those are made from iron. Okay. I can build one. So it's twenty iron plate per gun. Well, for right now, I do I do want to get one built and operational right now. Let's go with logistics. Well, actually, I don't... I have no use for logistics right now. Nothing is getting automated. I'm gonna go for the cheaper research, which is automation. And I'm going to want logistics with automation, really. So let's go for the cheaper one. drop off my beakers here in a little bit and start clearing out the coal area so I can start bringing it up uh, bringing it up here so I can take advantage of all the automation and stuff yeah what I'll do is I'll create some belts and get this little thing going right here are going to be fed in this way. You know what? I can use the splitter early on actually. I thought it was going to take me a lot longer to clear this forest to get my uh, boilers filled or automated. going to be attacked soon, I just have a big feeling about that. Twenty-five, twenty-three plates, twenty-four. Hmm. Okay, so I got automation, electronics, no, logistics, yeah, it takes twenty beakers, we have eight, well nine I guess. more. What was I doing? Placing my turret. More than likely they're gonna come from up here. I guess I'll just place that there. Cool. A 
lot of forest to clear. This should be good enough for now. Yeah. Alright. Well, let's just continue using our current... Alright. And we need power here, of course. Ooh, wrong way. Let me just go ahead and take all the wood out. Awesome. Now I want a splitter. I'm sure there's a way I can do this without a splitter though. I want to take these north and east. I mean, I'm almost done with logistics anyway. Let me just go ahead and clear a path for my uh, for my belts in the future. I know that they're going to go straight up. I hate that. I move my mouse cursor too early sometimes and I lose my progress. I mean, if you move your mouse cursor back in time, you don't lose your progress, but I, <laughs> I never do that. And then we'll take it to the east. Because my furnaces here, I want them to be automated as well. shouldn't have to do all this stuff that I'm doing right now. Alright. Got that and that. Let me throw my beakers in there. Awesome. Make some more belts. Some inserters. Might need some long-headed inserters. And I'm out of iron plates. Tired of putting fuel inside you. I have enough belts now, I think I can do a much better system here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's remove five long hand inserters from that queue. I guess we'll re add them. Alright. Well, it looks like I'm actually going to have these things fed out this way, towards the west. And then I'll go... I'm worried about putting my furnaces here because that base is just... I mean, they are literally my neighbors. I'm going to do this anyway. Take them up. Holes are set up. Okay, so there's my raw ore. Did I not make inserters? Or was it the regular inserters prerequisite? Yeah. Darn it. Okay. I guess to fix this right now, I mean, just do that, that, I think that'll work. Those don't reach. 
This is obviously just temporary. But that works. I need more iron plates. Awesome logistics. I'm not sure what I'm gonna go. Smart inserters are awesome, but I don't need them yet. I don't need that. Never used the lamps before. <laughs> Adds a second quick bar. Makes sense to go military. I'll go military. Okay. So I'm just waiting on the iron, right, so I can make a bunch of inserters. stone furnaces and I think I'm just going to line them up I mean I haven't made a better design yet though I haven't really tried maybe I should go ahead and try well this is pretty much what I've been doing okay How am I going to get the coal over here? Let's figure this out. I can't leave it like that. Because I, I, yet, I, I need even more iron. Might as well just hook the rest of these up until I figure out what to do with the, uh, the coal. I need belts. Wait, 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 cancel. Let's make at least one splitter. Cut it here. This needs to be electric. In fact, okay. Let's make our. I think that's right. Yeah, that's right. Let's go straight up. And pick up more iron. That actually deleted the uh, coal that was on the belt there. Interesting. What am I thinking? I'm thinking of bringing the coal on the inside, but I can use these long-handed inserts. Okay, I have a problem here because... Hole doesn't have the radius to reach the inserter on this side of the furnace. So I'm gonna have to do something different here. This is what I'll do. I'll put one space in between the furnaces. And that is actually working out the way I expect. 
Wait, I didn't take the coal out of these. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that works. Perfect, actually. Alright, so one, two. We got a space. And there we go. Need more inserters. There we go. We like to make this symmetrical, so let's see, go that way. I need to increase my coal output by a lot. Really, everything here is working as expected. So let's go ahead and, and uh, increase our coal production. We obviously need it. I'm also splitting it in half. I could probably find a better way to do this over here, but thing, <laughs> things are working right now, so. Let's just go ahead and do this. That'll work just fine. That should more than double our coal output. I still don't think this is enough. I need to find a way to... Well, as this fills, it should stop bringing the coal over here. It should bring it north. I'm hoping it just doesn't stop the splitting machine altogether where nothing flows through. I'll keep my eye on this. In the meantime... Let's just get those science packs out. What am I going to need to automate that, by the way? Copper plate and iron gear wheels. Which is all right here. Looks like I need to increase my output on iron or But right now it looks like I have enough coal output to meet the meet my demands right now. Actually more than enough now that I think about it. I'm glad I didn't place that third one. I should place a turret down here. This right here is the heart of my uh, economy. I have to take care of it. by placing turrets, of course, and that's what I'll do. I'm actually surprised I haven't got attacked yet. Oops. Uh, there we go. So what? <laughs> if that's not enough guns, I don't know what will be. I just don't have the ammunition. That'll have to work for now.
And I did get that extra gun built, so I might as well reinforce this one here. Alright. We need to increase our raw ore production. And I'm thinking that'll be more than enough. So I'm producing 510 kilowatts. My consumption is 510 kilowatts. I better take care of that. As long as I can move through it, I'm fine. So we have, what, 50% of our available performance. The water is hot enough, so we definitely have enough boilers. I'm, looks like I overdid with the, with the boilers, but it kind of future proofs me, I guess. Check out the pollution in, inside the enemy base there. It's getting out of hand. I expect to be uh, attacked here shortly. So, why don't we take care of this? I know I need a miner. I just don't know how much stone I'll need for all this. I know I need walls, which needs five stone bricks. Each stone brick is made from two stone, okay. So what I'll do is I'll throw a uh, furnace right in front of it to smelt the ore into stone brick. We need the stone brick. I need an assembly machine. I'm going to cancel the rest of my miners. Okay, so I'll put you here, and you're going to make walls. And I guess I need an output into a chest. So let's power that. Goes. Hmm, this might take a while. Okay. Just don't want to focus on that, really. I really need defenses and automation of my research. These fast inserters too, I might as well take advantage of those. Alright, now that I increased my iron plate production. Oh, I have tons of this. What am I gonna do with it? Let's eject it. Well, as soon as all this crap gets made, I'm gonna use the inserters and eject them. And you know what? I'll probably take all my finished goods out here. Oh man, another base. I think I am going to have to focus on my walls. 
How many have I built so far? Four? Yeah, I, this is not going to work. I don't know, I'm going to leave it. I'll, I'll see if I need walls faster, but pretty sure I do. Okay, so I'm working on ejecting all of this. So let's go ahead and do that then. I need a lot more belts. You know what? Cancel that. Just make another uh, assembling machine. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why I'm doing all this. I understand for the beakers right now, although I, I can really automate most of that right now, if not everything. There you go, 10 beakers, right? Awesome. I should finish off my military tech. And... What do belts need? Iron plate, iron wheel gear. So I'm going to do a makeshift thing out here somewhere. I'm going to pull the iron from that belt. Kind of do the opposite from uh, what I'm doing there. I don't need coal. So really I need two of these assembly machines. Okay. One right here. You're going to make the iron gear wheels. Eject into this thing that will make I'm missing a step in there. I'm just gonna go steel processing right now, although I don't really need it, just because it's cheap and only takes red beakers. I need a copper plate here as well. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do, copper plate. No, I don't. <laughs> Actually, this is what I should be doing. And I wasn't making these either, I was making the uh, transporter belts. And I have everything I need sitting right here. Right? Oh wait, 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 wait. That's raw ore. Looks like I'm making the belts anyway. Or I just do this. And have you guys eject into that. And that's kind of makeshift. Um, I don't need like 10,000 of these, so let's go like that. One stack. Trying, trying to decide what to do here, but I think I have an idea. Just go like that. Or we can take it south. Yeah, just take it south. Well, I'm actually going to end my session here, but my plan here, I'm, I'm going to turn the uh, raw copper into the, whoa, 
into the copper plates. You know, they're doing not they're not doing bad. There's just two guns. Anyway, I'm gonna process the <laughs> I'm gonna process the raw stuff into a finished good. Then then what I'll do is I'll take it down here and put it on the left side of this belt and probably bring it in and have a whole center area here for uh, I don't know, whatever we want, I guess. We'll see what happens. Anyway, um, I'm ending it here. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.